Okay, so as of last night, I'm still testing positive for COVID. Today is day seven for my first symptom. So today I wanna to talk about my business up to this point in the year. I wanna talk about my single agent business transitioning into a team. I wanna talk about my commercial endeavor. And I also wanna talk about the fact that for the last week, my family has had COVID. All three of us, me, my wife, and my daughter. Um, it's It's been rough. However, I wouldn't say it's been as rough as it could be. Let's just say that. If you guys are following me on social media, you'll see that I haven't posted anything on just about any platform for the past week, and that is why I've been sick, and um, I just, it's it's been a ride. I'll tell you that much right now. So, two weeks ago, we go to Denver, and uh, we do the Zero to Diamond Tour event, the first one in 2022. It was an incredible event. This one was... Um, the very best one we've done so far. If you haven't seen the live stream, it's still here on my YouTube and uh, you should go watch it. Every single speaker um, was incredible, uh, very dynamic, and brought a lot of value, and I was just so proud of this event. This is my favorite one so far, and it just shows the progression that we're getting better and better and better and better. Um, our next stop is LA in May. We're still working out the details and the venue and everything else, but it's gonna be an incredible event. I'm super excited about that because this will be my first time in a long time to the West Coast. So we're planning on Long Beach. Don't hold me to that, but we'll be announcing everything really soon. And I'm just super excited to get out there and, and see you guys out there on that side of the country. So, but we went to Denver and the plan was to meet with, uh, have like a retreat, a team retreat with my team there in Breckenridge and go snowboarding and skiing and, and everything else, which we did. So we fly up, me and my family, we go up, we, uh, we go to Denver the next day to the event. And uh, again, amazing event, had a great time, had lunch with everybody afterwards, drive to Breckenridge. We go to Breckenridge the next day. I snowboard all day long. Let me tell you, all day long, all the way until the, the lift stopped running. And uh, it, was, it was incredible because from that point, I haven't snowboarded for four years. We were talking about it. I kept telling everybody that my wife had broke her leg two years before, but really that wasn't true because, you know, Whitley's two and then my wife was pregnant and so on and so forth. So we started backtracking and it was four years ago uh, when we went. And that just tells you right there how fast time's flying. So four years ago was the last time that I went. And honestly, I didn't really get a day in like I got today back then because she broke her leg and everything else. Now she was up in the room. We spent two nights in the hospital. She had a rod put in her leg and then she just laid up on the couch for the rest of the the uh, the vacation there, which we made the best of it. Okay, we, we actually had a good time, but she let me go skiing. I say, let me go skiing. Um, of course, the reason why I say let me is because I wanted to sit there and make sure she was okay the whole time, but she basically forced me out the door to go with my friends and go snowboarding. Uh, I think one day, of course, I'd already been, I guess the day prior, I got like two half days in that trip. But anyway, this was a full, full day. Okay. Um, and then a couple that we stayed there a couple days, hung out in Breckenridge. Um, my daughter saw snow for the first time. It was an incredible time. And then we came back home and that's when I started to feel bad, right? I started to have a sore throat. Um, you know, it was like a head cold, right? It wasn't like anything like, boom, hit me like a ton of bricks and just laid me out. I was laying down, couldn't wake up, couldn't, uh, couldn't move, couldn't get up. Um, it was nothing like that. It was just like a head cold. I had a stuffy, you know, nose and I uh, started to get a slight headache and honestly just did not think in anything in the world that it was COVID. 
So the next day, it's was like, I need to go ahead and get tested. I'm still feeling bad. Let me go ahead and get tested. So I did, I got tested. I did the lab test, which came back three days later. And I did the in-home test. The in-home test showed that I was positive. I knew right then and there I was positive because I knew I was sick for sure. At that point, my wife and daughter showed no signs of any symptoms at that point. And, um, and so, you know, we were just, like I say, I was tired, a little bit short of breath, and the symptoms started to get worse, okay? Um, so, and I started coughing a little bit, stuff like that. So, day three was when my daughter started to have symptoms, and what she had was a fever. Now, I never really had a fever. I had a slight fever um, one morning when I woke up, but I never really had a fever um, to speak of. My daughter had a fever that went up to just under 101. It was like 100 point something. That was as high as she ever got. And her symptoms only lasted 20, 40, 48 hours. Um, she had a, a cough definitely at night. And, um, but you know, honestly, this whole thing, when I would wake up throughout the day, I would feel better and better and better until I went to bed. Then the next morning I would feel bad again. And then start the whole thing over again, feel bad and then feel better gradually throughout the day. Uh, I would get tired, you know, I was tired, but as far as like being able to physically do stuff, cause I would wake up a couple mornings dizzy. That was one thing. And, um, you know, but my daughter, it came and went, and thank God it did not hit her very hard at all. And my wife, the same day my daughter started showing symptoms, my wife's throat started acting itchy, but she was playing it off big time. She was really playing it off. And, um, you know, she it never really hit her really hard. She started to have a slight cough. Of course, she, she had a, a little bit of a runny nose and stuff, but she never had fever. And she was never sh down for the count at all. Thank goodness. So I think I had it the worst out of all three of us. Um, it didn't hit my wife hard at all. My, my daughter, it hit her, but it, it came and went so fast. Um, so this is day seven from the first symptom and I have a stuffy nose today was the first day I worked out I worked out this morning and I was definitely fatigued really quickly. I had to slow down a couple times um, However, I had to get back in there and and work out I, I did that in my home gym here since I am still testing positive I didn't want to go to to the real gym today, but um, we're recovering nicely from it, and uh, but man, what a ride! I mean, it was it, it'll it'll have you brain fogged and dizzy. Um, you're coughing. You don't feel good. You, you're tired. Um, but overall, it was just something that's kind of lingering at this point. So just an update there. We had it. Uh, this was the first time we caught it. This is two years after it hit the U.S. This is this was the third strain. Thank goodness, because the way I, you know, way I'm researching, I'm realizing that quite possibly, if what I'm hearing is true, each strain is getting weaker. And so I definitely think we caught the third one, which was the weakest, and thank God it was that one as opposed to the second or first one. I'm a little short of breath right now. All right, so yeah, it's, uh, I'm, I'm actually, I'm glad to be on the upswing of this. I'm looking forward to testing positive so I can kind of get back uh, back in public and back in the gym and um, you know, back to life as normal. So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know uh, why I've been absent from social for the last week and to let you know my family is doing fine and everything's good to go there. So update on my business up to this point. This year so far I've closed two deals for 1.5 million. Um, this is the end of January of course. I've only had two closings so far this year and that's really attributed to um, you know, me not really working my real estate business uh, the way that I should if I were in that business, you know, fully committed. Now I'm running so many different businesses, so I'm not in that business. I'm just kind of run that business passively. The deals that come to me are very passive leads, past clients referrals, 
stuff like that. I'm referring a lot of stuff out to my father who has a lot of stuff pending and has closed a lot so far this year. So, you know, I have been referring a lot of stuff out that I just don't have time to get to, but I don't want to slip, let it slip through the cracks. And at the same time, but I'm still going after stuff and I've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Um, so my, it's not like I'm unhappy with my business right now, right? That's another reason why I am transitioning to build a team to handle this stuff so that nothing falls through the cracks. We close everything and some, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna build a monster of a team, okay? So believe me, right now I do have eight, no, seven, seven pending deals for five million. So I do have some things cracking. We are closing one today and um, uh, so I'm, I'm happy with where my business is right now, especially as I transition into uh, building this team. I still haven't made an, a hire yet. Uh, I'm still um, in the process of, I, I actually have picked out the business model I wanna use to build my team, um, which has been very interesting to learn the different kind of business models and team structures that there are out there. And I'm in the middle right now, very close to making that first hire, which will be VP of sales. So we'll actually come in and basically take my position, okay? And I'll train him until we're at a place where he can actually take it over and start bringing on more agents and training those agents, so on and so forth. As you guys know, if you saw the video where I announced I was gonna build a team, me and my father are gonna combine our businesses, combine our databases, combine everything and we're gonna run the team. We're gonna take the team from the 50 million we're doing now up to 100 million. That's the goal. And uh, me and my father are gonna step back and I'm gonna put him in a better role to help me run some of these other larger businesses. So I'm very excited about what we have going on here and the direction we're going in. Uh, the people that we have um, that we're looking to hire are going to be top-notch individuals, and I'm very excited to bring those individuals on board and start working with them and helping them and training them and um, really taking that part of the business to the next level. On the commercial side, you guys know that's one thing that I'm doing is taking a lot of pressure off the residential side so that I can go out and do commercial deals. And on the commercial side, I've learned so much, right? I've got someone who's taken me through the process here and teaching me everything. And I've learned where the data is. I've learned how to use the data. I'm still learning a lot about the properties and the little twists and turns and um, little n commercial nuances and stuff like that. But I have learned uh, at least a couple of different avenues I can go down and start prospecting. I've already began to prospect and that's going very well. I've already got some, some huge um, institutional buyers who, you know, they'll spend 50 to 100 to 200 million like that if I could find the right property. I've got a couple pocket listings on some things that are probably overpriced, it's things that have had offers on them and so on and so forth. But I've got a lead on one deal that uh, I feel like I have an inside connection on, which could potentially be a 50, 60, 70 million dollar deal that I'm really excited to, about. So I'm not counting it you know, before it happens, but I'm excited for the prospect that I have to, to chase that opportunity. So that, that area is going to very well, and I want to continue to update you on my commercial progress as I move through here. I want to keep continue to update on my team process and the commercial process, um, both. So anyway, I want to start doing this podcast style, YouTube video, you know, daily updates type deals on my thoughts, what's going on in the market, what's going on with my business, uh, stuff like that. So um, I'm going to give it a shot right here and keep doing these type of uh, videos and podcasts for you. Um, leave your comments below. Let me know if there's anything in the world that I can do for you. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Talk to you soon.